and welcome. You know who the, we are by now. Welcome back, Mr. Music. <laughs> Get out, you dirty You're LMP right. bugger. You right there? Uh, I was just choking on some more lies from the LMP. Oh, uh, I thought you meant. I thought you meant. <coughs> you meant you made rat face, Albanese. <coughs> if you want to hear us arguing about politics, folks, just go to the. All right, look up uh, XCW and you'll find us on, on Rumble. Rumble. Rumble.com, you'll find us. It's a laugh, I'll give you that much, folks. Yeah, uh... Got as much laugh I just had fucking with the real, 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 as much fun as I have with the real estate. Yeah. You know, we are with the DGB Talk, the Aussie Dead Man Toad. And, and you're the roadie snake here. Yep. And... Or all my little holes. And don't worry, folks, your little favourite bloke will be with us for a long time to come yet. He's not going anywhere that we know of. You know, they don't listen to those silly doctors. Yes. They try to give me silly pills that you make you do make you go and do weird things. And I'm um, reliably informed that the roadie snake has got one hell of a uh, showcase for us tonight. Yes, I've got a fella from back in the 1980s. Oh. So uh, a bloke called Eddie Grant. For those you remember out there, remember that? Oh, she's going to be a good one tonight, folks. Mm. One of my favourites from the 80s, actually. And uh, I've been asked a few times about uh, probably the second best generation next to the 70s. Oh yeah, next to the 70s, the 80s were the best. And yeah, possibly the 60s. Well, I wouldn't give you too bothered for the 50s. Exactly. Not that music. Well, that was. When me and the roadie snake have been out and about, a few of oh. you have come up to us and asked how you can show some support for the show. Well. If you want to show support for the uh, DGB show and especially the DGB talk, it's simple folks. All you've got to do is send an email of support and, ad and admiration if you want to call it that. The email address is 4crm at 4crm.com.au. That email address again. 4CRM at 4CRM.com.au and just put in there how much you like the show and how much you like our little segment that we do on the show. Yeah, and if anybody out there wants to wants to give me money or just come and see me, I'll take it from you any day of the week. Yeah, just contact us at the show and uh well, if you see me on down the street you want to give me some money. Yeah. We're not adverse to taking bribes. I'm not. Well, there you go, folks. You just heard it from the roadie snake himself. I'm not averse to anything these days at the moment. You know, it's hell for, it's hell for leather at the moment. I mean, especially after you turn 50, get out there for your life. Yeah, well. <coughs> anyway, let's get on with the showcase. As I said, it's Eddie Grant. Now, uh, this young man was born Edmund Montgon Montgon Montague. Sorry, Montague. What a name. <laughs> Edmund Montague Grant. He is a... Uh, Bear with me here. Guy in the knees and Britain and British. I hope I got that right. Guy in the knees. I think it's a word. I think it's a word. He's a singer songwriter. Well, was a singer songwriter and multi instrumentalist. Known for his gene blending sound, his music was blended elements of pop, British rock, soul, funk, reggae, electronic music, African poly themes, and and Latin and Latino music genres such as samba, among many others. God, that's a mouthful. Oh, no. He was born in 1948 on March 5th, so we've uh, passed his birthday. He's 74 years old, still living, folks, in uh, Pensac... Pensac... Pensia? I don't know if I got that right. In Ghana. Well, possibly he's in Ghana somewhere that starts with a P. If you, if you want the full details, it's P-I-A-I-S-A-N-C-E. If you, if you wanted to go over there and fly and meet him, there you go. He stuck with his uh, same wife. He married her in '69, Amy Grant. He has uh, one child, uh, Maria Grant Kel Kelman. Kelman. Uh, music group The Equals, and his siblings are uh, Rudy Grant. The song, his uh, albums he brought out was uh, Killer on the Rampage in 1982, Can't Get Enough in 1981. Walking on Sunshine in 1978, one of his earlier ones. Uh, going for Broke in 84. Uh, 
where he's actually where he's actually lives in that town in, in Ghana in Ghana there he's uh, he brought out one with the same name and it was in 2017. Interesting to see if we can find that one. Yeah. Um, 1981, uh, live at Notting Hill. Uh, Born Tough in 86. Message Man in 1977, another one of his earlier ones. Reparation 2006, Fire Under Rock 88. Barefoot Soldier 1990. Painting of the Soul 1992. So I can blow The list just goes on and on and on and on and on, folks. So it's a little bit of a uh, thing on in there. Ah, oh, boy. Tell you what, that's a little heavy. So, uh, tonight's songs, and you'll remember this first one, folks, a movie that um, starred Kathleen Turner and uh, Michael Douglas, Romancing the Stone. And that's where the big, the, one of his biggest hits came out, was he, he did the song for it, Romancing the Stone. Then we have uh, one of his other greatest hits, Electric Avenue. Uh, one of my favourites is War Party. And it's an interesting one, that one. And then you have Living on the Front Line. So uh, we've, got four, we've got a four shot there of old Eddie Grant. So I hope you do enjoy them because I know I enjoy it. I don't mind a bit of his, I didn't, always did like a bit of his music. It was always good to play along in the car. Oh yeah. Always good to rock out with that in the car. It was, more, it was better than that than doof, 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 doof. Oh God, don't get is. me started on that doof, doof music most young people like nowadays. Oh, God. It's like that, like that bloke in Coles the other day, the, mold, the, the, mold, the walking discotheque. Uh, Remember him the other day on Friday? Oh, with his bloody mobile phone and the ding, yeah. ding, 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 a walk, ding, ding, There's a walking discotheque. Hello, the kookaburras are off. I told you to keep the shed door closed. There's a family of them living up in, that, living in the corner up there. God, folks, I tell you, he's getting worse. I like my wildlife. Yeah, I know. I've seen some of the girls you've gone out with over the years. You can't do that anymore. No, no. I'm too old for that stuff. I can think about it. It's about as far as I get. I don't mind thinking about uh, that sort of thing. It's the actual getting a chance to do that sort of thing that's a problem. You know, if you hang around certain, if, you, if, you, if you're in a certain sort of circle of friends I have, they sort of put a stop, stop to it as soon as you, as soon as you start standing there. They go, Oi, what are you looking at? I go, that! That's what I'm looking at. There's no harm in looking at it. Yeah. Every time I go out with the roadie snake to the pub or something, folks, and I try to chat up some girl, he puts you. a kibosh on it. I've told you. You can have a motorbike. You can't have a woman. See, folks, you heard him now. I can have a motorcycle, but I'm not allowed to have a woman. Mind you, it'd be cheaper to run a motorcycle. It'd be a lot cheaper than running a motorcycle. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. Anyway, folks, we'll get yep. on with this music. and We'll stop jabbering on and boring you to death. So uh, we'll see it, and we'll talk to you next week. And... Uh, Take care and be safe out on them roads. Catch us later. Okay, here we go.